my channel um so i recorded this look right here i know i haven't recorded a video in a long time but i wanted to get back onto the boat of like recording videos now i've been especially like really busy in school just a bunch of things that were really um overwhelming so i kind of took a break from recording videos but I'm back now with this look, obviously. This is my go-to look when I like don't know what I want to wear out. This eye look literally goes with every single outfit. I honestly think anyone can achieve this look. And I only used one palette and like four brushes. So um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, if you guys do enjoy this video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. If you guys do want to know how to get this look, um, please continue watching and let's get the show on the road. Is that lame? It's a little lame, huh? Hi guys. All right, so we're going to be starting off with the face. Please excuse my voice, by the way. I am kind of sick. So anyways, um, I'm applying the Body Shop Vitamin E Aqua Boost Essence Lotion all over my face and then my face was extra dry this day so I am also applying the vitamin E aqua boost sorbet and just putting that all over my face next I'll be applying my brows off camera my brows played me in this video because it looks kind of sparse and kind of uneven but I promise you that it looked perfect in person I think I need to work on it I'll work on it Next, I'll be applying the Hourglass Foundation. I can't remember the name of this. I think it was called the Vanishing Foundation, but I'll find it and list it down below, I promise. And this is in the shade Beige. And I'll be applying that with a Beauty Blender. As you can see, I blend for quite some time because I like it flawless. Then I'll be taking this brush that I actually got on Amazon. It was super cheap. I got like this super huge set for I think $20 and it actually works pretty well. It's obviously a dupe of the Artiste brushes but in a way I got that kind of money to spend on brushes. So if you guys are interested in these brushes, I will leave them in the description box down below. So I'm just going to keep blending and then I'm applying the NARS Creamy Concealer in the shade Custard. This is my all time favorite concealer just because I feel like it's the, the perfect shade and it's lightweight and it doesn't crease on me. I don't know, it's just like amazing and it blends out super well. I feel like I use this almost every single day. I kind of go between this and the uh, Naked Skin Concealer. I've also tried the Tarte um, Shape Tape, but I don't have the right shade for me right now. Um, the shade that I want is out of stock, and the one that I've been using is a little bit too light for how I like it. I don't like a very intense, bright under eye, so I think I'm going to give it another try in a different shade, but right now, it's just a little too intense. <laughs> so... I will get back to you on that. Next, I'm going to be setting my under eyes with the RCMA No Color Powder. Um, I used to bake, but I don't bake anymore. I just take a damp beauty blender and just set my under eyes with it just so it has more of a quote-unquote natural look. But I do set my under eyes and then I set my lids as well just so I can prep them later for eyeshadow and then I'll set the rest of my face using the Laura Mercier A translucent powder. I feel that these two powders are just amazing. They're just used in different areas of my face such as RCMA 
for under my eyes and then Delore Mercier for the rest of my face. I do concentrate most of the powder in my T-zone because my forehead and my nose usually gets oily and the rest of my face is a little bit more drying. A little trick I like to use with the translucent powder is that I like to set my brows with them too. So I'll put a little bit of powder right over top just so that my brows don't move anywhere. Since my forehead does get a little bit oily, it can break up the product a little bit. So if I put the note or the color or the powder, oh my gosh, the powder on top of it and then put a styling gel over on top, it really keeps the brows in place. For today's look, I'll be using the Lorac Mega Pro 3 palette and I was super excited about using this palette on camera because I love this palette. I use it almost every single day just because it has like a good mix between neutral, some cool but warm tones as well. This palette is amazing and I'll be picking up Walnut on a fluffy brush and I'll be focusing that mostly on the outer third of my eyes. I'll list all the brushes that I use down below and their names because I honestly don't have them with me right now so I can't name them and I can't name them off the top of my head either, I'm sorry. Next I'm going to be picking up the shade Maple which is a warm brown with an orange undertone which is my favorite color. I feel like it's the most flattering on me personally so I do use this color very often. It reminds me of Makeup Geek's Cocoa Bear and also um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Sienna. Those two colors are my favorite to use so naturally of course I love this shade as well. Um, I do take a straight edge and I focus most of the color onto my crease and then I also go back in with another blending brush and go over all of that just so that everything blends seamlessly. Then I will pick up the shade Brown Sugar and mix it with cider and I will be placing that on the inner thirds of my eyes. And remember guys, that blending is your best friend because nobody likes harsh lines. It's not cute. Next, I'll be applying my favorite lashes in the whole entire world. Uh, which are the Violet Moss Lashes in the sh style, not shade, style, Wisp It Real Good. Um, but if you have the Style Siren by House of Lashes, they'll work just as good because they're so similar in their style. So, yeah. And then I'll be taking the Ardency In Monster Eyeliner. It's the best pencil eyeliner for the waterline. It doesn't smear on me and it's waterproof so it looks amazing and I love it. It doesn't irritate my eyes too. It's my favorite pencil liner. Next I'll be taking a pencil brush and applying all the shades I did on my upper lid to my lower lash line just so that it can open up my eyes because when I don't put any color under there it'll look very blank and just dull and it I don't know I don't like it um it's just not the look that I go for personally but you do you boo if you don't like it you don't have to put it under there but if you do like it just do you next I'm taking the gimme brow by benefit and then I switch over to the Rimmel Brow This Way uh, Styling Gel and the shade Clear. I put down the Gimme Brow first just so it gives my brows a little bit more of a shade to it, more color, if you will. And then I use the Rimmel one to shape my brows because I like the front of my brows to stick up and then the rest of my brows to 
stay or like lay down the way that they grow just like so and then I will be bronzing up my face using max gimme sun and girl I know it looks orange it looks oopa loopa orange on me but that's okay because in the next couple of steps I will show you how I do uh, ground this out and make it less intense because it does look very orange. It looks intense, but uh, I love personally, I love looking very bronze. I love looking like I just spent a day at the beach, even though I hate the beach, you know. So, this is why makeup is so great. Like, I can look like I was laying out in the sun all day, but I wasn't. But anyway. I'll be taking the Shade of Light palette by Kat Von D and the middle shade is a little bit um, warmer or not warmer it's like um, a neutral shade so it kind of grounds out the orange and then I do pick up a fluffy brush and then go over the edges of the bronze slash contour just so everything blends out very well and nothing looks harsh. Then picking up a uh, Real Technique sponge, I'll be picking up the Laura Mercier A powder again and I'll be baking under my contour just because I wanted a more structured contour today. Um, if you don't want to do this step, you don't have to. It just makes everything a little bit more structured instead of like whoosh and like bronzy and you know what I mean. But um, you do you if you want to do this step or not. I don't do this on a day-to-day -day basis, but um, if I want to go for a more natural look, then I won't do this step. But if I want to have a little bit more uh, structure to my face and I'm going out for an occasion or something, then I will most likely do this just so that everything looks a little bit more put together. Next, I'll be taking the blush Wild Honey by Becca Cosmetics and I'll be applying that to the apples of my cheeks and working my way back into the bronzer. This blush is everything. It looks so good with MAC Give Me Sun because it has like uh, a peachy undertone and it's kind of like terracotta-y. It complements each other very well and I always get compliments on my face when I have these two together. So, at this point, my congestion is getting really bad. I can't breathe out of my nose. So, I'm starting to sound a little crazy. Just because, do you hear that? It's getting bad. It's getting really bad. Sorry, guys. But we are almost done. We're almost done. We're going to pull through this. So, I'll be taking the Becca Cosmetics Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop. And I'll be adding that to my inner corners. And then under my brows, just for a boom and highlight. And then I decided that I was just going to put it on the top of my cheeks. Then I decided that since my eyes are so bronze, that I wanted to add a little bit of like gold highlight on top of my champagne-y uh, highlight so that it would all mesh together really well and I really like this highlight so you know just being extra just being me and then for lips I'll be using uh, Dolce K by Kylie Jenner Cosmetics um, the shade is like perfect it goes with like every single makeup look that I do so I just decided to use it for this one just because it really uh, matches well with this eye look just because it's like a brownie, duty color, and I love it. So, and then I'll set the uh, set the rest of my face with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray, and that is it, you guys. That's basically the whole entire look. Um, it's really easy, honestly. I could probably knock this out in thirty minutes. So I hope you guys liked it, and I'm gonna go take some Robert Tested or something. So. I hope I get better by the next video, so yeah, bye guys!